I just wanted to say how excited I am that the show's coming to the garden because, yeah, I, I really have loved your work for a long time. Um, I grew up in Naples, so I've taken that drive down US 41 many times and stopped at the gallery. Like, I like this. This speaks to me, you know, like that environment. And it's neat to have access to your work because you've captured what I, what I love and what I feel. And I've always just just, just, yeah, it's cool that I get to tell you that in person. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know, a lot of photographers come down here to Florida to photograph, and they come and say, how do you do this? Yeah. It's, it's, it's chaos. Mm -hmm. In chaos, nature is in order. Oh, definitely. But if it's not in chaos, usually nature is screwed up. Yeah, because <laughs> people want to understand what they look at, so they simplify, 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 right. and then it doesn't become nature, it becomes you know, a garden, which is right. interesting in another way. But, um, right. you know, it's interesting. When I was working out in the preserve, we've had a lot of employees work with, you know, the natural areas team of the garden. And I remember this one, uh, one co-worker of mine, and he said he, like, didn't, couldn't see the forest here. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't know what the plants were. He thought it looked, like, jumbled and, like, mm -hmm. kind of... He might have even said like a mess. <laughs> it is. It, yeah, and, yeah. And, and he couldn't see it. And then he worked with me for two years and uh, he ended up moving on. But at the end of that two years, you know, we were having kind of like an exit interview. And he said, you know, thanks for sharing all you did and teaching me about all the plants because I really find it beautiful now. And at first he hadn't, he hadn't seen that. And I was like, wow, now that he understood what it was, it changed what he was actually seeing. Yeah. And I think, you know, your work definitely does that for people. We have uh, people, uh, tourists, that come into the gallery, mm -hmm. and they look at the work, and then they go out and look at uh, the Big Cypress or mm -hmm. Takahashi, and they come back and said, after seeing your pictures, I can more understand what we're doing here. Wow. Because I have a way of simplifying it, simplifying the chaos. Well, it's nice when someone presents it to you, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and I, I've often wondered, though, when you're out there looking to simplify what some might call chaos, how do you um, how do you know when to stop and and set the camera down? I know it's not just because you're tired and you're <laughs> I got to set this thing down, right? It's no, no it, it's it's uh, an emotional thing. Mm. Uh, you see, you see something that says, you know, I like to, I like to be here. I like this. Yeah. And everything I do is point and shoot. I do not use the camera to compose. Okay. I use this to compose. And I see a spot, see I see this is this is it. I put the tripod down, put the camera on it, and focus. That's it. Yeah, obviously the black and white, you know, you've talked a lot about why you do that, but I it's just so yeah, stunning in a way, and I think it also um, makes you look at it in a different way. Because if it was yeah. color, you're like, oh, I've seen that. If you like the green, look at the green. If you like blue, you look at the blue. You're looking mm -hmm. at the colors. You're mm -hmm. not looking at the textures. You're not looking at the space. You're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not seeing the structure of it. Uh, you're walking through the swamp, Fakahashi or Big Cypress. Yeah. You become immersed in it. Mm. We we. I've been doing swamp walks ever since we built the gallery. And people, after coming through a swamp walk, they say, wow, I think I, I can feel and see it now. Yeah, there's a lot of other ones that actually really connected with me and I wanted to just ask you about, yeah. um, because we have some different habitats, as you know, right. at Naples Botanical Garden. And one of them was um, your picture of the black mangrove. Mm -hmm. And you have this really large, you know, kind of solo black mangrove. And we actually have one of those in our natural areas. And right now it's not easily accessible to anyone that would normally be hiking at the garden. You have to kind of get your feet wet and go in there. But I just, I just that one spoke to me so well because the, it was just things, like that. You one of the know? important things about the black mangrove is they're the first to go with global, global warming. 
Mm. They're the first ones in the right water. In fact, some, a lot of them in the National Park are, are disappearing because the water's getting too high. Yeah. Yeah, th this could be a good transition into a little bit of the topic about how, how can we act you know, to do something uh, and any number of topics, right? But uh, I mean, I was kind of curious how you felt your art can help that. Well, the art is there to say to people, this is a beautiful place. Mm. We're so lucky to have this. So why do we, why do we want to get rid of it? That's the question I ask myself a lot. <laughs> I really do. And, and people, but they don't break, ask that question because they, mm. they're not intimately involved in it. And that's hopefully the photographs help them get some sort of feeling for it. Yeah, I feel like that's where our, what our mission can really help is we're going to bring people in and, you know, I, it's not just, hey, look at this and, and, and move on, but it's like have an emotional reaction to it. And like you said, uh, if I'm quoting and remembering right, you want your work to engage people and give them a reaction, but then maybe invite them to go see it on their own. Right. Because well, if they that's, don't... That's hard to do. Well, it is. That's why they give swamp walks. Yeah. So they can initially go with someone that knows what they're doing. And then maybe and someday. And then go on. Yeah. Because if you don't have that emotional connection, right. um, asking someone to do these greater things like acts to help save the earth is, how is difficult. How about breathing? Yeah. There's a good starting having, point. Right? Having water to drink. Yeah. I, mean, I know it, it's fairly simple in some ways and it's very complex. You know, one of the things I think probably the easiest thing people could do with uh, financially and that is to support uh, growing trees. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with the work that we're doing too at the gardens. We are doing some uh, urban reforestation projects as well. So um, actually we're going to, you know, branch out and start that. And, I, and it has to start somewhere and I mm -hmm. kind of feels good to, to work at a place that is thinking like that and then to have you say that's something that needs to happen and, and know that um, people can support that. How else are you going to get rid of the carbon? I mean the carbon is going to be here for thousands of years unless, yeah. unless we plant the trees. I think some artists might would be intimidated or, or not want to get into that but I think that sets you apart in some ways uh, to, to... President Carter, I gave a tour of our gallery and we were, we were sitting talking he says, why do you use this big camera? Isn't it difficult? I said, well, why did you run for president? <laughs> they cracked up laughing. That was a great you know one. exactly what I meant. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. Well, <laughs> I mean, and you do it well. And, and kind of to go back to like an earlier thing I said about um, how you were grateful for, you know, all the work that people did before you so you could do this work. And then, um, yeah. yeah, I definitely I just want to say thank you to you for, for your work because I don't know if you know whether you would know it but um, I was definitely inspired when I was going to school by your artwork and, um, and that's kind of why I ended up going into the environmental field so I hope people that come see the show at the garden can. Yeah, a lot of kids that are like this and now environmental yeah. people. Yeah. You know, so. uh, but don't forget about for some reason everybody gets the, the attitude that could teach the kids about all this stuff, which is okay. Yeah. But unless we save it for them, they aren't going to have anything to work with. Well, that's a wonderful place to, <laughs> to end it. And I think that's a good challenge for all of us, right? Because mm -hmm. you have to ask, ask something to people, too, to say, hey, you have to go beyond your comfort zone. And um, like I said, it's all connected, and we need... We need a, a full engagement from everyone. The world is round. People forget that. It does seem flat when you just are in your own little world, right? It mm -hmm. seems like the things you do are just here, but yeah. And and I, I think it does come back to being kind. Um, yeah. Because with compassion, you have understanding. Okay. Well, I, I want to thank you for your time okay. and be respectful of uh, you know your day. So thank you again for having us out here. Oh, and, you're uh, welcome. I, you know, it's it's been a real pleasure for me.